The next user interface control we'll look at is the slider. The slider is basically a fancy version of a scroll bar. It has more properties. For example, we can show major and minor tick marks showing different positions of the slider, and the slider has a knob that we can then drag around within the track. We have the ability to define how many pixels there will be between tick marks, and we can put labels on those tick marks as well. As with the scroll bar, we can show a slider either horizontally or vertically. We can show it with or without the tick marks and with or without labels on those tick marks. In the UML diagram, you see all the various methods there are to control all of these properties that were discussed in the previous slide. There's a noarg constructor that creates a default horizontal slider and another constructor that you can use to specify minimum and maximum and current values for the slider. We'll go ahead and demonstrate this in the Eclipse IDE in a moment. But here's a picture of what it's going to look like. It's very similar to our scroll bar demo that we just saw, but as you can see, the sliders are fancier and have numbers on them and tick marks and so on. Apart from that, this demo does the same thing that the scroll bar demo did earlier.